Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January 30th, 2020. In this update, I'm going to show three VHSs that I got from eBay, two DVDs that I got yesterday at Dollar Tree, and a total of six Blu-rays, which on Monday I got two Blu-rays at Dollar General. Yesterday I got three from Walmart. And today I got a Blu-ray from Amazon, which I pre-ordered last week. And for the VHSs I got from eBay, I will say which days I got them. So without further ado, let's begin the update. And we're going to start with the tape that I got from eBay last Friday, January 24th. This is an MCA video cassetting VHS from 1982. This is a pretty rare tape right here. This is a former rental from an unknown video store. And there is a print date underneath the end label. And it is September 7th, 1982. Now the next tape is in a rental case and I got this yesterday. And I actually ordered this one from Wet Movie One's eBay store. This is a Nickelodeon tape from Sony Wonder. No print date. Former rental from Odyssey Video in North Hollywood, California. And now here's the last VHS, which this is another extremely rare one. And this came on Tuesday, January 28th. This one's a former rental from Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Day is December 26th, 1994. And this one was resealed when I got it. And it's one of those older Paramount tapes where you open it up like this. The 34th week of 1986, so this is a later reprint, but I checked the opening of this and guess what? This tape does have the 1980 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning. So this makes it my second tape I have with that logo, the other one being my 1980 VHS of Starting Over. Let me get this back in. And that's the VHSs. Now here are the two DVDs that I got at Dollar Tree yesterday, and they are both Warner Brothers DVDs. I've never heard of this movie until I found it, but it does look like it'll be pretty good, so for one dollar I thought, why not pick it up? And now the, here's the last DVD. And now on to the six Blu-rays, which I'll point out which two I got at Dollar Tree and which one I got from Amazon. But... For the ones I got at Walmart, I just won't say anything. I saw this movie in theaters back on October 15th, 2019 as um, a limited Fathom event screening. 
And when I saw this in the theater, I got a free poster, which I have up on my wall right here. And this was a pretty funny movie. And if anyone wants any of the digital codes I'm going to show off in this video, you already know the drill. So I don't need to say it again. Next one is the first Blu-ray that I got at Dollar General on Monday. Blu-ray and DVD. And the ultraviolet digital copy code expired on February 21st, 2014. And an ad for WB Insider Rewards, which no longer exists, but I would have earned 150 points for this. If that program still existed, I would definitely join. Now next is the Blu-ray that I received today from Amazon, and I pre-ordered this one last week. This is one of the Oscar nominees for Best Picture, so that's the main reason why I decided to get it. So, I'm going to plan on giving this movie a watch sometime next week before the Oscars on February 9th. This is actually a Korean movie, but it has English subtitles, so when I watch this movie, I'll watch it with English subtitles since I don't understand Korean. The back of this is blank, so no need to show it. I saw this movie in theaters on November 3rd, 2019, and it was pretty good. Not as good as the first two Terminators, but I actually liked it more than the other um, Terminator movies. Which Terminator... Which Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and Terminator Salvation... Um, those I thought were just okay, but Terminator Genesis I thought was pretty good. And this was a good movie, too. I also have Gemini Man and Mission Impossible Fallout on Blu-ray. And here's the other Blu-ray that I got on Monday at Dollar General. I saw a couple other copies of this, which those did not have slipcovers, but this was the only one that had the slipcover. This code expired on December 16th, 2017. And now here's the last Blu-ray at the show for the update. This is another movie I saw in theaters, which I saw this one on October 22nd, 2019. And I also had the first Zombie Land on DVD. I did think the first Zombie Land was a little bit better, but this was still a fun sequel.
And as I've said before, I no longer use Sony Rewards, so if anyone wants the code, there it is. And that's going to do it for this VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for January 30th, 2020. Thank you for watching, and this is Brands Movie Corner signing off.